Hey, welcome to Python series. And in this series, we'll be covering Python from very basic to the advanced level. And so let's begin. Why Python is the great first language? So it's very simple and easier to read and learn than other language. If you have already studied C or C++ or Java, I'll show how it's, how it's different from these languages. Now Python is a traditional programming language. You can learn Python to learn concepts and skills that apply to other languages too, like C, C++. Python supports development of wide range of programs, like you can develop web applications, system administration, and games using. You can also use Python to automate things, machine learning, artificial intelligence. So use of Python is very washed. And Python is open source, means you don't need to pay for using python next comes how python works so suppose we write a code that is our source code then we uh, give that code to the compiler compiler converts that code into bytecode that is understandable by our pc then what virtual machine then comes virtual machine what it does it takes our bytecode that is generated by compiler and whatever the libraries and modules required suppose we are using some sort of application that uses temperature and for that temperature libraries is used so it takes all the required things and runs the program and give the output so let's begin with our first program so first we'll start with printing hello world hello world let us run this see it got printed now i'll show you how how this is easy to learn than other programming language so for that i'll first tell you how how we can write comments in python we use hash hash symbol for writing comments so welcome to this course and i hope you will subscribe to this channel because i'll be posting all the videos for all the chapters that is in video syllabus so this is single line comment like we need to write comment in only one line and what we use the comments for we use comments for explaining the some part of the program to uh, suppose your program is used by some other programmer then he can understand that part of the program now let us look how we can write multi-line comments so for that we use three quotes and within this we can write multi-line comments so i'll show you how this same program like print hello world would look in c language for that we need to uh, suppose it was C. For that, what we need to do? So, for printing this simple print hello world, hello world, printing hello world in C, we need to write these many lines. And you must notice here, see, I am using curly braces here. And here we don't need to use all this. So, in place of these curly braces, in Python we use identation. I'll tell you in the later part of program. Suppose I'm trying to print another line and say hey everyone. And if I run this, it will give an error. That is identation error. See, unexpected ident. Means, uh, what identation mean? Means it takes space as, suppose whatever the content here is in the main, we are, we are putting that in curly braces. And in this Python, we use a spacing for that. I'll show when I'll teach you the uh, for loop and all. So till now we learn about comments and identification. Suppose we need to print a line that is not in same line. Suppose print one statement. Suppose there is one sentence. Let us make one sentence. Hey everyone, how are you? doing welcome to this tutorial see it's going beyond this line this this line we want to get it saved in the single line so what we can do we can press enter see this this symbol got added here why this got added it got added to so that we are changing one line to multiple line and that we call explicit continuation I'll make this a bit small now we want to print this print sentence 
let us print this word see hey everyone how are you doing welcome to this tutorial got printed here what uh, there's one another continuation also that is uh, implicit continuation suppose we want to print the same statement hey everyone and in the next line we want to write how are you suppose uh, this this was going beyond that line so we need to change the line and let us run this see same got printed so this type of continuation is called implicit continuation now we we'll learn about look at the what are the different data types in python so first data type is string string then comes integer type and float let us see with all with some example so for a string suppose we will take one variable in string one equal to everyone and in in integer we take a number so number equal to whatever we want to give and we will take float float number see we can also assign a string suppose we will take one string variable 2 and we can assign using single quotes also hey everyone and this will do the same thing that we uh, we are using using double quotes and let us try to print all this print string let us run this see everything everything got printed hey everyone from string 2 hey everyone from string uh, 1 and then this number and this number so what if we want to separate it see we want these values to be separated by something so in that case we can use separator we can use separator what it does it takes one argument like suppose i want to separate these all by this symbol now let us run this again see everything got separated by this symbol let us add some space also again let us run this see here even space got added here after every uh, variable now we can use one another thing i'll copy this suppose we want to add something at the end suppose we want to add something here let us do one thing for that we use this end and in that i'll give exclamation mark three times let us run this see here exclamation mark got added in the end so now we'll look at how to name our variable so these are the rules for uh, naming our variable so variable name must begin with a letter or underscore then uh, variable name can't contain spaces punctuation marks or special characters other than underscore we can use underscore and other than that we cannot use anything a variable name can't begin with a number but can use number later in the name a variable name see here i have used a string 2 means starting with some letters or characters but at the end we are using a number so we cannot start a variable name with number but we can add in the later part a variable name can't be the same as the keyword like while for we cannot use like see here if i try to use while equal to 43 and let us run this it will give some error see invalid syntax now we'll look at arithmetic operators so multiplication and divide and here are two additional like double divide what it does i'll tell you then comes modular and finally double star so let us learn this all suppose 12 plus 12 very basic now we'll look at this double divide what it will do so let us take here two star star three so let us run this so these are the operators that we will be using in python so first is plus operator so what it does it adds 12 plus 12 24 12 minus 12 0 multiplication these are the basic everyone knows 12 into 12 12 this is giving for 12 divided by 12 now in the next line 19 divided by 12 so it's giving 1.5833333 something 
so how you can avoid that suppose we want only the integer value not the decimals value so we can use double divide symbol for that and see here modular what it does it will give the remainder value so 19 divided at 12 sorry 19 modular 12 it will give a remainder whatever the remainder will remain and what double star does it takes suppose we are giving 2 and the second variable we are giving 3 so it will multiply n times means its powers 2 into 2 into 2 so what double star operator does it it acts as power so 2 power 3 2 into 2 into 2 means 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 so th these are all about arithmetic operators now let us look at one another example so 2 into 3 plus 5 and again I'll comment everything so here I'll use one parenthesis so let us see the difference between two by running this see both are giving 11 11 but what if we change this to plus and this also to plus sorry plus and 3 into 5 and here also 3 into 5 in the previous it was giving 11 in the both let us run this again so this time it's giving 17 and 25 so 25 is the correct answer it should be correct answer for this because 2 plus 3 5 into 5 25 and here what will happen first what is what it's doing 3 into 5 and then adding 2 so both are correct but what if you want to first add we use this, whatever we use in mathematics we follow the same here and we'll put 2 plus 3 in parenthesis if we want 25 as the result now we'll look at compound assignment so what compound assignment does let us first look what compound assignments are plus 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 equal to and then my minus equal minus equal to and multiplication equal to so let us use this num we'll take one number equal to 10 and we'll print this number it will print 10 so what we want we want to add some number we want 10 to the number so what we will do number equal to number numbers plus 20 so uh, it will print 30 see 30 got printed here but we can do that by simply using this also number plus equal to 20 this will do the same see 30 got printed again and like that we can use minus here minus and it will print minus 10 so minus 10 got printed and like that also we can use multiplication see 200 got printed so this was about compound assignment now we'll look at input how we can take input from a user so we can write one print statement print enter a enter your name suppose and we'll store name in name variable equal to input and we'll print the name let us run this see it's asking for name so i'll give rohit and in the next line rohit got printed so what it does it takes input and save it in the variable name how we can do in a simple manner we can do that by just writing name equal to inputs and within that we can write this message enter your name command v and see the same output will come and let us print this name and run this see exactly at the like previous example it's asking for enter your name let us give akash so akash got printed here so this was how we can take input from user and whatever the input is taken it is taken in the form of string now suppose there is number 1 equal to 100 and we are taking another number from user we are taking number 2 as an input from user number 2 and we'll write input and in this what we write we'll write enter number 2 and we'll print first we'll print number 1 
and then followed by number two and let us run this enter number two 300 so 100 and 300 got printed here but what if you want to add this number let us try adding this so when we will run this it will give an error suppose we are giving 34 see it's giving an error type error unsupported operand type 4 plus int and string it's saying that first 100 is in type and the second one is string type but only string type can be added with the string type means concatenation so how we can avoid that we can avoid that by converting this into int int now what it does this is one this is for type casting suppose number 2 is in form of a string but it will get type passed into integer type let us run this again now again entering this see this time 3 434 got added with 100 and it's giving 534 so in this way how we can convert whatever the input is taken from the user to int float now we'll look at rounding of a number suppose there is one number suppose we want to uh, let us see what will be printed if we will print 19 divided by 12 let us run this 1.58 this whole big number got printed here but what if we want to print only till 5 8 means after decimal only two values so what we can do we use round function let us try to print the same using round so within print we can use round and there we'll divide 19 divided by 12 until which digit we want till second so let us run this and see what got gets printed see now it's it got printed till 1.58 only uh, one another thing like uh, writing variables name we can use two type means we can use two ways to write a variable name first is so let us take one example how camel case is written as the name suggests camel case means see my first letter is started with small and then the next whatever word will be my first then f will be with capital first variable so variable will be with capital with equal to some string like that uh, we can use underscore like my first variable equal to this so we can use either this way of writing the variable name or this way both are correct so that's all about this video we'll learn about loops and while loops for loops if else statement in the next video thanks for watching